Hey guys, how's it going? It's Joy. I'm back again with another video. Welcome, welcome to the channel. Um, this channel is called Live Narc Free. It's all about inspiring and motivating you guys to live your best life. All right, so today's video, I wanted to talk about how to stop attracting narcissistic people in your life. Also, are you a narc magnet? Um, the reason why I wanted to talk about this is because sometimes we find ourselves attracting narcissists back to back to back, and we're not sure why it's happening. And, you know, we really want to attract, you know, a healthy relationship, a happy um, connection and someone that we can be with long term without having to experience any abuse, um, any drama, conflict and, you know, any heartbreak and pain. So um, I wanted to make this video to kind of give you some insight on why you may be attracting narcissists and how you can potentially stop it. Right. We don't want to be in relationships with narcissists because we know that that's no good for us. All right. So let's get into it. So some of the some of the ways you can tell if you are a narcissistic magnet and why you may be attracting narcissists back to back is potentially is maybe you had narcissistic parents um, now this is pretty common with a lot of people that have had, um, narcissistic parents, um, because when you grow up in a household, um, and your parents are narcissistic, then they're pretty much setting you up to be conditioned and be abused by a partner, right? Because essentially they're teaching you like, this is home. This is how relationships should be. Relationships should be dysfunctional. Relationships should be about toxicity and, um, you know, just really unhealthy and very bad for a person. You know what I mean? But you are learning that as a kid, as a child. That's what that's all, you know. So you grow. And as you go out there in the world and you meet people, you want to be with people that remind you of your family. Right. So it's kind of like subconsciously we go towards people that remind us you know, of our family that remind us of home. So me, myself, I know I had an aunt, she was a narcissist. So essentially she was kind of setting me up to be attracted or to be drawn to people that are narcissistic, which I believe is the reason why I was so attracted to my male narc. But anyway, so yeah, that could be one of the reasons why you could be a narc magnet is because you were already kind of exposed to that kind of abuse previously. So that's all you know. You don't really know what a healthy relationship looks like. And if you do receive someone that really wants to love you for who you really are, um, you know, that may accept everything about you, you would push that person away because you're not used to that. You know, that's not home to you. You're not comfortable with that. That's why they always say, and this is not everybody, but a lot of people will end up pushing a good person away, but they will accept, you know, someone that's abusive and someone that's not good for them because that's all they know. That's all they had growing up. They didn't have someone that was, you know, healthy and um, good for them. You know what I mean? Um, they didn't see that uh, kind of relationship example. So why would you go towards something that you're not sure of, you know? All right. So the next thing is, um, you could be attracting narcissists back to back is because you're an overly empathic person. Now, um, I know that a lot of people that follow my channel are empaths and being an empath is a beautiful thing. It's such a beautiful gift to have and to be. And, you know, the only problem is when you're an empathic person, you may tend to overlook a lot of things or you may come off as someone that a person could, um, how do I say, can get over on or push over on and it will accept things without, um, you know, speaking up for yourself, without standing up for yourself. Um, so you just want to be careful of um, your, imp your empathy. You have to learn how to manage your empathy. You don't want to be overly empathy because again, people will take advantage of your kindness. They will see that as weakness. Unfortunately, that's the way that the world is, you know, but um, initially uh, being an empath is a beautiful thing because you have the ability to feel the feelings of other people as if it's your own. You know, you can feel why someone is sad. You can feel why someone is um, happy or you can feel why someone is um, 
upset you could you could feel that energy you know you could read people you could see right through people you can get the signs and see you know like stay away from this person or don't go in um this environment or you know move on and go this direction go that direction you can get those nudges your intuition is always talking to you at all times you feel energies you feel others constantly so that's why a lot of empaths we have to always recharge because we're constantly feeling the thoughts and the feelings of everybody and even ourselves like sometimes we'll go into an environment and we'll we'll it'll be an energy in the um the office or you know, wherever we go, right? And it's not even our feelings, but we take that on as if it's our own. So now we're in a bad mood, right? Like, like we could literally be in a good mood, but because we go somewhere else, whether it's work, school, or just go to the mall or something, and it just drains your energy and now you're in a bad mood, but previously you was in a good mood, right? So just be careful of that because you guys know that narcissists are attracted to empaths. That's why they had the whole dynamic of the empath and the narc. So be mindful of that, right? The next thing is on the reason why you could tell you may be um, attracting back-to-back narcissists or if you are a narcissistic magnet um, or if you tend to attract narcissists could be is you may have low self-esteem. Now, um, I have gone through this myself, so I am not saying that I've never had low self-esteem, but um, narcissists, not only do they go after people that have high self-esteem, because narcissists will be with a successful person, like someone that has a high status job, um, you know, that has a good career or, you know, they they're doing something big. They don't steer away from them, but they will also go towards a person that may have low self-esteem. So someone that may not know who they are, someone that is just kind of just looking to be accepted, someone that's not really looking to, you know, really step on other people's toes, that don't really speak up for themselves, that don't really say what it is that they want. You know, they're unsure of everything, you know, in their life and just not really not really knowing just a person that could just be lost and just be just looking for approval, you know, looking to be accepted by someone, you know? So um, you might want to start to work on your confidence, work on your beliefs, your values, what it is that you want in life and what it, what means the most to you, what you value, what's important for you as an individual. You definitely want to work on that because you could be a magnet for a narc because a, um, a narc will take advantage of that, especially if you have low self-esteem. They will get you to be codependent on them and ha- have you accept less than what it is that you initially would want in a relationship or what you would want for your life. So please be careful of that. All right. And this is kind of like a follow up is um, you may be a narc magnet is because you may deny your own needs, you know, and some people that are codependent, um, not all, um, because I understand, too, that some people have codependent codependent tendencies may not be codependent. Right. But you may deny what it is that you want and what you need out of a relationship, you know, and that's never really a good thing because it's like, you're there in the relationship, but you're not getting anything out of it, right? The whole point of a relationship, not necessarily saying you're going to get something from your partner, but you're going to, you know, enjoy the experience to share your your life with another person, not necessarily to get anything, you know? Um, but yeah, you want to be with someone and their needs are getting met and your needs are getting met. But sometimes it, a narcissist will be attracted to a certain individual that may deny their own needs, put their needs on the back burner and focus on the narc. So you just want to be careful that you know your worth, you know your value and understand that you too are very important and you are worthy of having your needs met. Yes, you are important. I'll say that again. Okay. Never forget that. All right. And again, also another follow up. So a way that you could be um, a narc magnet, which means you a narcissist are attracted to you. Right. Is you are a peacemaker and you usually are prepared to make sacrifices to keep a relationship going. So I'm not going to lie, you guys. I went through this myself. Um, You know, being a peacemaker and not wanting to cause conflict. That's just a part of being an empath. But um, to the extent where you sacrifice your your um, your well-being 
and your peace of mind, your emotional well-being, all of that just to keep a relationship going, right? That could be someone or you could be someone that would be a magnet for a narcissist to be attracted to. And you just want to be careful. You Again, you want to make sure that if you're in a relationship that it's serving you in some way. It's not just so a person is taking from you and you're giving and giving and giving and giving and giving. That's not cool at all. Like you want to be happy. Like you don't want to be miserable. You don't want to be hurting. You don't want to be getting abused. You don't want to be getting used by your person and getting and feeling and getting belittled and being humiliated and embarrassed. No, you want to be happy. You want to share love. You want to share joy and peace and you know, that's what you want, right? And we all deserve that. We all deserve to be loved. No one deserves to be mistreated at all. Like that is unacceptable at all times, right? So keep that in mind. You never want to make any sacrifices to keep a relationship going. If it doesn't, you know, suit you, if it's not meeting your criteria, your needs, your standards, leave it alone. Let it go. There's plenty of others out there. You don't need to be stuck to one person. You know, you have to understand that the universe is abundant. You know, there's plenty of people out there, plenty of fish in the sea. I'm sure you guys heard that saying, right? Never feel like this is the own, the one and only person that will ever love you, that will ever want to be with you, that will ever be attracted to you. And sometimes, unfortunately, the narcissist will say those things to you to make you believe that no one else would ever want you. No one else would ever want to be with you. Like you're ugly. You're not attractive. You're fat. You, you know, just saying like all these mean things. You don't ever want to listen to that because none of those things are true. The narcissist will say things to you to keep you from leaving, to stop, to you know, kind of ha- make you have a low self-esteem to bring down your confidence, you know, and none of those things are true. They're just trying to control you, right? So never give in to that. All right. So the next thing is um, you could be a, a narc magnet, a magnet for a narc is you were potentially unloved or you were inadequately unloved in your childhood, meaning your parents not only could have they they could have been narcissists but other parents may not have been narcissists but they just didn't love you how they should have loved you right they wasn't really there for you emotionally they didn't get to know you right now um the narcissists cuz what they'll do is they'll actually try to ask you a lot of questions to find out you know how your childhood was so you have to be careful about this because what they'll do is they're going to see you know, if your parents were there for you, right? And then if they realize like, you know, you felt like your childhood wasn't the greatest and maybe you don't have a good relationship with your parents. So what the narc will do is they will go and pretend to be your parent that never gave you the love that you deserve. That was never there for you. And then you will fall in love with them so quick, you guys. Um, and that's that's really crazy because um, there it's not even real though. That's the sad part. It's like we're falling in love with a lie. But again, it's because our needs wasn't met as a little kid, as a little girl, as a little boy, right? Um, our parents they they couldn't. They wasn't they wasn't available emotionally. They just maybe they were working. Maybe they didn't know how to do it because maybe their parents didn't do that for them. So how would they be able to give that to you, right? Um. So, yeah, you just have to make sure um, that maybe if you have that issue, you talk to your parents about how your childhood was and how it made you feel. I know me personally, I did that because I feel like that was my issue with attracting an arc because my parents, I know that they love me. They did, but they just didn't know how to love me in the way that I needed them them to. And that was hurtful, right? But I learned to forgive them. I learned to forgive myself and I was able to let that go, right? Now, some of you guys still may need to do that because that could be the reason why you're still attracting narcissists and why you could be a narcissist magnet, right? So, yes. So um, the other thing is you may be quick to forgive. This could also lead you to be a magnet for a narc. You are quick to forgive. And it's nothing wrong with forgiving, but... I don't know if you guys saw that um, video that I made where if you should forgive the narc. In that video, I said that I forgave the narc, 
But that's not saying that I went back to the narc. That's not saying that I accept what the narcissist, I mean, I accept what they did, but it's like, I'm not going back to the past. I'm not saying that what they did was okay. I'm saying that I'm forgiving them for my own peace of mind, right? But when you're quick to forgive and you just let things go so easily, you are essentially saying that it's okay to abuse you. It's okay to get over on you. It's okay to for you to be a pushover, for, for that person to do anything that they want to do, and then you're just going to forgive them, right? Narcissists want people like that, and that's not what you want to be, right? You don't want to show up in your relationships like that because you're never going to get any respect. People are always going to use you. They're always going to take you for granted, and they're never going to take you serious. So you definitely don't want to be that way. Right. So um, I hope that this video was helpful. You guys let me know and leave your comments. Um, and I wanted to make this again because I know a lot of people are wondering, like, well, why do I keep attracting narcissists back to back to back to back? Am I a narcissist magnet? Am I a magnet for narcissists? Um, you know, so hopefully um, you can kind of use these tips to kind of stop, help you to stop attracting narcissists. Um, and one of the things before I do want to let you before I let you guys go, I wanted to say um, a few other things just to give you some quick tips for how you can stop attracting narcissists is set your boundaries. I'm going to leave that video below on how to set healthy boundaries, um, but set healthy boundaries with everybody in your life. Um, work on your confidence. Um, also know your personal values. I know I, I touched on that earlier in the video, but also you all, you want to identify red flags when showing, when someone is showing you who they are, listen, do not ignore it. Just if they're showing you that they can't be trusted, if they're showing you that they're trying to control you, if they're showing you that they're, uh, they have like tendencies, um, to get abusive, to get angry, to, to mistreat you just leave them. <laughs> Don't try to make it work. Don't try to keep it going. Like it's not worth it. It's not worth the heartache and the pain, right? So anyway, I hope that this video was helpful. Make sure that you guys like, share, and subscribe to this video. And I will see you all in the next one. And if you guys would like to learn more about this or how you can work with me to overcome narcissistic abuse, that information is below. Um, you can visit my website or you can um, email me at livenarcfree9 at gmail.com. And I will see you guys in the next video. Love you so much. Take care. Bye.